Hello friends, welcome to my new YouTube channel. Let me introduce myself. My name is Preeti Gorong and I am a registered nurse. I have completed my BSc nursing and MBA from Maharashtra, India. And guys, if you are new to my channel, so please do not forget to like, share and comment. So let's get started. Today we are going to learn about Glasgow Coma Scale. Now we'll see one by one first is who published Glasgow Coma Scale. Graham Teasden and Brian Janet in the year of 1974. And do remember this friends, this can be asked in the competitive exam. Okay, then next we'll see the definition of Glasgow Coma Scale. Glasgow Coma Scale, it is used to monitor the level of consciousness in all kind of medical, surgical, traumatic and critical types of patient to know the neurological status of the patient. Okay, the next is components. First one is eye opening response, then second one is verbal response, the third one is motor response. Then the next we'll see the scoring in GCS. First one is highest, it means that the patient will be alert or awake in the better condition. Then the second one is lowest and the score is 3, it means the patient will be in the highest rate of deep coma. Okay friends. Then we'll see eye-opening response. First is spontaneously, that is spontaneous response and the score is 4. Like for example in this, when we are going to the patient's side and if he is able to open his eyes voluntarily, so we'll give the score 4. This kind of patient can be seen in the ward. Okay. Then the next one is eye-opening response to speech and the score is 3. I will give the scenario first in this when we are going to patient side and the patient will not respond but after verbal stimuli like we will give call his name out and he may open his eyes then he may fall asleep but when you are talking to the patient and if he is opening his eyes so we will give the score 3. Then the third one is eye opening response to pain and the scoring is 2. To check this response we have to apply pressure. In this we have to apply some painful stimuli you can use pen and apply in the nail vent gradually and increase the pressure then the patient will get open his eyes so we'll give this code too the last one is no response after doing all these activities if the patient shows no response then we'll give this score one then next we'll see the verbal response in this there are total 5 components. The first one is oriented and the scoring is 5. In this, first is oriented the patient who is oriented to time, place and person so will give the score 5. Then the next one is confused and the scoring is 4. In this, the patient will be confused like if you are asking the patient name and if he is giving the answer like saying something else it means he is confused. So we will give the score 4. Then the third one is inappropriate words and the scoring is 3. In this, what will happen friends? You are saying something to patient and he is saying something else where there is no relation between question and answer. So we will give the score 3. These uh, scoring can be seen in the head injury patient. Okay. Then the next is inappropriate sounds and the scoring is 2. In this scenario, the patient will be making some sounds to the questions and no words will be used by the patient in that time we'll give the score 2 last one no response and the scoring is 1 then the third component is motor response first one is obey's command and the scoring is 6 in this to check the response ask the patient to lift up the hand or open their hands or ask them to grasp your fingers as hard as they can or you can ask the patient to open his or her mouth and if this all things patient is doing successfully, then they are good to go. So you can give this course 6 and this kind of patient can be seen in the general ward. Then the next one is moves through localized pain and the scoring is 5. In this to check the response, you have to apply some painful stimuli for that you need to check central stimuli. So let's start. First with the trapezius squeeze. If no response, move to supraorbital pressure and see what happens. And if the patient will respond by raising arm, flexing elbow, raising hand above collarbone and localizing his pain, then you have to give the score 5. The next one is flexion withdrawal from pain and the scoring is 4. 
We will give the score 4 if the patient tried to withdraw from the pressure stimulus, hence we call it as a normal flexion. Let's assume you do the trapezius squeeze, the patient's arm is going to bend at the elbow and move the arm and hands up above the collarbone. Trying to remove that pain, now the patient get the score 4 if he withdraw from the pressure stimulus. But remember friends, in this the patient will not be able to locate his pain only can withdraw from the pain. Then the next one is abnormal flexion and the scoring is 3. If the patient will flex elbow as arm moves through center core of the body then we will give the score 3. And friends, when there is abnormal flexion, it is referred to as decorticate posturing. Do remember, decorticate posturing means abnormal flexion. The next one is abnormal extension and the scoring is 2. It is also known as decerebrate posturing and this is the worst case scenario and the bad prognostic finding can be seen in the ICU patient. Then the next one is no response and the scoring is 1. If we do all the other activities and there is no response, we can give the score 1. Then the last one, we will see if the patient get the score between 3 to 8, it means the patient condition is severe and if the score is between 9 to 12, it means moderate condition. The last one is minor, that is the patient will have 13 to 15 score. So friends, I hope this glasocoma skill topic was clear to all viewers. Thank you for watching till the end. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share and comment and subscribe to my channel. And to watch this video later, do save this video. Thank you once again friends. What you want in the upcoming videos, do comment down. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.